Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your late January 2019 uh, general reading. It's a general reading, so it won't resonate with each and every Sagittarius who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe. It's much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's get going. Happy New Year. It's still January, so you're still going to hear Happy New Year, okay? Alright. Let's see what we got for love for Sagittarius. I'm feeling an upbeat energy. Even if things around you are kind of like falling to shit, you're still kind of upbeat. I think because you know what it is you, you need to do or you're going to do. Some of you already have a plan in mind. All right. What do we have to say for Sag and career and finance? Okay. Health, wealth, and well-being. All right. Cards are talking today. Okay. One more. Health, wealth, and well-being. For Sag. Got two. All right. Bottom of the deck. Wow. Nice. 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 Ace of Hearts. Uh, new love. New friendship. Uh, new home. Something you fall in love with. Like you, when you find that new home, you fall in love with it. New friendship. Falling in love with the fact that you've met, you've met someone who's on your level, right? Uh, new love. Just the newness of love, right? So we've got that here the bottom of the deck which is always good okay so we've got love and romance here four of diamond six of hearts nine of clubs so this talks about winning the lottery a large sum of money this talks about some good Samaritan help comes in this talks about a secret admirer who could become a new boyfriend or new girlfriend. And we do have um, new love here. So, or new friendship. Now this could be someone from the past. Someone that you're going to have to make a choice about. There's something you, you may already be in something. You're going to have to make a choice. Maybe about a person that you're somewhat separated from um, a person that you you've got to make a decision about evaluate are you in or are you out of a situation are you going to another okay let's see what is top row about about a past person, a new person. This is a kind person. You feel like they're, they're warm. Maybe you have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. What is this about? Yes, this is a person from the past. That was the question. All right, so this person from the past may be your new boyfriend, new girlfriend, a secret admirer here for you, sad. Maybe even someone you have children with, someone you were married to. It was a bit toxic at one time, but um, maybe it's shifted. You are evaluated from a okay. career finance, jack of diamond, five of hearts, five of diamonds. Um, what this says is that there might be, so I'm going to read the cards from the, the meaning of the playing cards. Okay. So this is a dishonest, untrustworthy person and you miss most times it's a family member. Capricorn Virgo Taurus can even be a friend too. It could be anyone, but most times that's who it is. You're, you may 
have some problems within your own foundation or you may have had you may have had long term problems with this person maybe at work if you work for a big corporation uh, church it's something that you've been in for a long time you have problems with this particular person because you're hesitating before making a decision about maybe cutting this type of energy out you just keep allowing it to resonate in your life five of diamonds speaks about success in home and uh, marriage okay it looks like um, there, there are problems and then there are money issues that, that crop up because you won't make a decision in regards to maybe a friend or family member who drains or who is a taker of the money or some type of monetary aspect in your marriage in your long standing relationship you won't make the decision to cut this particular person out or off uh, so now you're having problems in, in your either career this is at work at home but it's definitely now it's cropping up into your finances okay and this might be a taker what do you have to say here for the third row uh, yeah this is a this is not a person who gives they're they're giving us false also there might be lack of confidence with this this situation ever changing but you it looks like you just keep it around though but you need to cut it away hesitating before making a decision what is what do you have to say volunteer okay. you may need to what are they volunteering? Because I'm confused here. Um, it may be um, your time, energy, effort. It may be even words. You may need to volunteer how you feel. It may be actually volunteering. Maybe to get out of that state of lack. What does volunteer mean for sad? Will of Fortune, yes. Okay. So, it's about, you might need to give back a little bit to clear up the karmic scales, the, the energy. Um, you may have had all these thoughts about um, volunteering, giving back, be, being charitable, doing your alms and benevolent work. And it just may never have manifest for you. Maybe because you got really busy. I don't know. But you're going to have to. The, if you are now. Experiencing financial woes. And that you need to volunteer whatever you can. Wow. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. That is big time, long term money. Volunteer to help. Who are they helping? I'm now I'm nosy and curious. The Empress. This may be your mother a mother the mother of your children if i'm speaking to male sag family dynamic you failed to cut something out the magician and the three of swords
this is a person maybe you divorced or you're separated from there was infidelity maybe secrets lies um yeah somebody was holding something back it, it's coming out and in that you're gonna get some long term stability money the will a fortune starts to turn for you someone is dishonest within a union once you whoever this could be you sad or the other person once you you finally get strong enough to cut away to make a decision uh, because it may have not been success in this relationship due to an outside party um, maybe in the midst of a divorce or separation uh, you get some really some foundational type of energy and money to you it's one way of looking at it the other way is sad there's somebody stealing the energy the money the whatever the tangible of a situation and because you let it go on so long and so far now you need to volunteer to, uh, the fact of how you feel about it and you need to cut away and once you do that things it's like a, a burst of abundance comes for you someone's holding you back or something okay health wealth and well-being eight of hearts four of spades six of spades wow <sighs> definitely in separation from someone um needing to make the decision to have achievements over these burdens or these burdensome people burdensome situations and allow an ending that will hurt either you or the other person to happen it may have something to do with your home having visitors in your home somebody's living in your home you get it like or okay so home could be proverbial it could be in your sphere in your energy in your sector in your group of people you hang around you it may be that you need to allow an ending to happen with someone and once that happens it just cultivates um it looks like so much goodness in your life someone from the past this popped out okay. what do you have to say for this row in the near future so we've got a timeline in the near future um i'm gonna just pull two cards because i pretty much drilled down on this the chariot you're gonna move wow you're gonna be traveling you're gonna move sad in the near future you're moving or you're putting something or someone out you have the strength to get in control you let negativity rest and dwell maybe in your home and your sphere and your sector for so long now it says you got to get in control of this put it out and do away with it right you see things from a different perspective things have been illuminated to you okay could be a leo person all right said we're going to clarify over at my website i hope that this reading resonated for you with you Hmm. Okay. This Ace of Hearts at the bottom of the day. Sad may be wanting to get to something or someone else. Or maybe some someone you're dealing with feels this way. I don't know. We're gonna clarify all of it. My website, $1.75 gets you the extended reading. The link is below. Thank you guys for taking the time out to listen to the reading. I hope it gave you a bit of clarity, maybe shift you in the right direction. 
um, yeah, I'll click the link below. Let's follow me over to the extended reading. Take care.